with uh, uh, Christian Moeks in the vineyard of Trottenmar. You see Trottenmar behind us and a magpie. Uh, and to ask a few questions about the 2015 vintage, which we have just finished tasting. Uh, Christian, how would you intend to use the quality of 2015 as an opportunity to restore confidence in general in Bordeaux? Well, first, I think that uh, 2015 will be worth purchasing en primeur because uh, it will have a lot of success and if people don't take a position en primeur, uh, they won't get any wine, probably. That, that's the first point which, at long last, justifies the primeur, which has not been the case, I must say, since 2010. Um, the wines are good. All of them are good. Some of them are very good. A few of them are extraordinary, you know, with so much uh, uh, vigor, a little baroque, I would say, so some outstanding wines, and those you, you should not miss. Uh, then I guess your question has to do with the price. Uh, we would like to see prices evolving. Uh, it could not be the same price as 14 or 13, like, uh, clearly. We, we want to keep people reasonable. reasonable neither us, but we we expect, uh, we have begun our campaign, prices to be between plus 10 and 20 percent. Um, forgetting about the evolution of dollar or pound, that's, I will not say not our problem. We say it's not our problem when uh, when the wine is good, when the wine is not as good, we, we consider those uh, more seriously those problems, but let's be serious. So we know that uh, those prices uh, will go up by 10 to 20 percent. The beginning of the campaign, I cannot tell you for the end of the campaign, there will be some people uh, tempting uh, plus uh, 30 and then uh, two or three guys plus 50 percent and there will be some crazy, crazy prices. We cannot avoid that in Bordeaux. So that will restore the image of Bordeaux? No. I'm sorry to say, I would like to say yes, but it won't restore because uh, uh, we have been suffering from uh, uh, let's say three average vintages or uh, four average vintages if we said 12 was average plus, even good. Uh, and we, we have a, a desire um, to, to, not to win money, you know me, that's not my style, but to, 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 to take advantage take advantage uh, of that good to very good vintage. Uh, what we should try to do is to share that advantage with, with, with you and with the consumers. And that's really where is the question, which means probably there is a, an increase, inevitable, which is still reasonable for us, for you and for the consumer. I will put it at plus 20 percent compared to the recent prices. I hope it will be the case. I cannot certify it will be the case for our wines. Maybe not one extraordinary wine which we produce this year. I don't know yet, but for, for most of our wines, it will be in that bracket 10 to 20 percent. We know a lot about the growing season, and of course, uh, I spend time as always. Uh, Let's say when we uh, when we had that severe drought in July, which I remember comparing it to '76, which was a very severe drought in France. We even got a special tax for what they call uh, uh, la, uh, the drought tax. We, we didn't get to that point this year. We have enough taxes now. Anyway, uh, so um, I, I, I took my notes from uh, from. Uh, 76, which I have uh, very clear in my diary, and uh, the rain arrived around uh, July 25. Uh, uh, and then uh, August was okay in 76, and then a lot of rain uh, beginning uh, September 10, and that's why uh, potentially beautiful vintage 76 quite diluted. We didn't, we didn't have the same uh, condition, except to the end of July, where we had that drought. Then August was uh, reasonable in terms of temperature with some rains, reasonable amount of rain. And September was uh, mild, 
we, we got very precisely one inch of rain here in Pomerol and roughly something in Saint Emilio, which was reasonable. It was just for uh, cleaning the, the rinsing the dust, so it was honestly the perfect amount. At the time we had, we had those few rains, we said oh, we don't need those last few rains. Uh, but finally, without us being uh, conscious of it, we had the conditions for a grid vintage. And if you had asked me by, uh, by picking time, is it grid? I would have said this is good, but no more than good. And in fact, when you study the conditions, because of that drought, which produced such thick skins, and that, of course, that uh, was very resistant for the few rains of August, for the tiny rains of September, that worked perfectly. It's another kind of approach to almost any vintage I have known in my long career, but it worked at the end, which means usually we love uh, August, as we say, August makes the most, and September to be hot so that we have that last touch of uh, perfect ripeness and sometimes over ripeness. This year, the heat in, uh, in uh, July, where the days are much longer, that's so important, you know, we forget that. August average and September just a slight amount of rain we needed. It worked in a different equilibrium for the grapes and for the wines, which is kind of an order for us. And it ends with those wines, which are uh, kind of extraordinary, with so much tannin, but they are mild tannins, soft tannins, and we have levels of tannin I have never seen in my lifetime. So, so they are soft. I'm going to ask you the inevitable question, which is, at this early stage, compared to other vintages at a similarly early stage, would you, could you, can you make any comparisons? Uh, for me, uh, I will compare it uh, I mean, as a special success, maybe for Merlot, maybe for Pomol, I will compare it to 98, with a little touch of 64. And I had a, a top Pomol 64 this week, and that was that little uh, um, concentration, feeling of heat, high tannins, which are beautifully softened, and the 64. Uh, uh, for which I remember my father had a few doubts, that's why he did not drink everything and I still have some left. Uh, they show beautiful life 50 years later. Yeah. And, and this is clearly a vintage which probably we will enjoy as a young vintage, especially in the lesser chateaus. But the top chateaus, they will age for 100 years, it's, it's obvious, I think.